We wanted to help showrooms that were in need of uh, design support. So it really came at quite the right time. If with all of this going on with the pandemic, we were having, you know, we were seeing showrooms furlough their staff, they didn't have the designers, they were trying to continue their business and offer a design service, but they just need, they couldn't cope with the, with the amount of work. We wanted to create this service so that it would support those retailers without the pandemic, even if the designers were on holiday. It's a bit of an overflow service where we can, we can be here to, to help with bathroom or kitchen design. It wasn't designed to uh, replace any designers at all. We're very much, you know, helping the showrooms, uh, supporting them, empowering them. And, and really, it, you know, we've seen customers, it'd be a bit of a lifeline for them. It's been growing at a good rate, actually. We're starting to grow the team as well. Always meant to be a long-term project. I see it as so much more than just bathroom and kitchen design. We, we created it at the start for that, but there was always more in the planning or more in the future for what we wanted to do. We wanted to create multiple services, uh, you know, an umbrella of services that came under that bracket. And also to connect designers as well, because you know, for the likes of social media, Instagram, you know, everybody is very proud of their designs and want to post a lot of their work that they're doing, starting to be a community of designers as well to so bring people together. We offer designs to customers who are virtual world users or non-virtual world users as well. Normally I ask for the measurements, so the parameters of the room, as many fixed objects, you know, the windows, the doors, the saw pipes, as much information as they can provide. And I have um, a full spectrum of different uh, requirements from customers. Some provide a very generic list of products. Um, they may have certain manufacturers or brands that they like to use. So I ask them to include those. And then other customers just give me quite a lot of creative license. I can suggest different layouts and said, have you, have you thought about this, having the toilet over here or or the shower here, check with them first to make sure that, you know, maybe this could actually potentially be a, a better flow of space. I have the ability to send a link, which is to the design cloud. That is a virtual version that you can fly around the design. So sometimes if I have a design and it's quite a complicated one, before I do the rendering and the images, I will send the link and ask them to view that first. And once once it's all finished, they receive a link to send to their customer as well. We normally allow two to three working days to do the design, try and keep it on a quick turnaround so that customers aren't waiting for their design. We're starting to introduce more services. As, so I'm working with brands as well as retailers, creating actual showrooms. These are for retailers or brands that need additional showroom space. They have a sm small showroom, they might not have a, a very big showroom. Having a virtual space means that it can be replenished as uh, as frequently as they would like. They can change tiles, we can change decors, and uh, they can display much more showroom product than they would do in a physical space. The best way to do it is actually by using 4D. A lot of our uh, customers have 4D uh, headsets in, in store. For them to be able to have obviously physical showroom space with displays that people can touch, feel, but also once they um, put on the headset, they're absolutely fully immersed in either their, the, the virtual showroom or their own design as well. So they are becoming more, more virtual and um, showrooms, I think, you know, showrooms need to have the support there to drive the customers and the consumers into them and I think with 4D it just gives it gives them a, a different edge within the KBB industry we can be very stuck in our ways and I think the pandemic has forced us to take that giant leap forwards and just consider a different way of working and living.